What up? It's NWP, and today, well, we knew that today was going to be Nuketown for Xbox and PlayStation, or for PC, but we did not expect an actual patch. So we're going to talk about that. But before we do, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, go ahead and drop them in the box below. I'll be sure to respond to them as soon as I possibly can. Now, additionally, I am running a giveaway. Check the link in the description. $50 in your favorite gaming currency so that you can get more V-Bucks, COD points, whatever it is that you may want. But, uh, yeah, so generally speaking, we knew that there was going to be an update for Xbox and, and PC today. We knew this. Now, we did get a massive overhaul. And I literally was ready to make a different video. And, uh, yeah, so here is what we do have. And, the, and here's the patch notes for 1.07, which might be 1.06 on xbox and pc i don't know but xbox and pc both got uh nuketown both of them got nuketown added to the multiplayer playlists and a special you know nuketown featured playlist blackout with the zombies out in the nuketown island and blackjack shop added to the black market so that was all last week's stuff that we got on playstation nothing special there but here is brand new stuff for everybody to enjoy now, what we do have is <clears throat> Nuketown is actually added to the multiplayer rotations. I do think that means we can see it in Chaos Endurance. I want to check that out. If anybody knows, drop it in the comments below because that's going to be insane. Uh, updated the clan tag and kill counter weapon prestige rewards to use an LED to display for higher an LED display for higher visibility on weapons. That's pretty cool. I don't even know what they look like. I haven't seen them on my weapons, and I have it on a couple. Players can now equip Mastercraft camos on their signature weapons as soon as they acquire the signature weapon. Finally, why would that's I I mean I get why they locked it, but it wasn't very bright. Now we got some playlist updates right away here, and the playlist updates are TDM 100. So there's a 100 score limit TDM. It's kind of weird because we got the 150 and you know endurance, and now we got the 100. But I think people really wanted the 100 back to begin with. Um, it was pretty popular in Ghosts for a TDM to have 100. So, Mercenary Mosh Pit added to Featured Category. So we know what Mercenary is and we know what Mosh Pit is. It's just back. Hardcore Mercenary Mosh Pit added to Featured Category as well. So it's the same thing but Hardcore. Gun Game remains in Featured Category. Endurance Chaos Mosh Pit remains in Featured Category. Pretty sure we're going to see that until Xbox is done with it and, play, and PC is done with it. But uh, stability-wise, there's a whole host of little bugs that would happen like when using Reactor Core, stuff like that for uh, crash fixes. So you should see a whole bunch less. We're not going to focus on the crash fixes because really, like, if we go through all of them, it's just insane. You know, it's not really worth it. Uh, and, uh, you know, we should use our time more. Appropriately, I guess would be the word. So, yeah. Anyway, score streaks, a care pack, adjusted delivery, entry, and exit point effort, effort, uh, exit points across all maps to reduce the delivery times, which is good because the care packs in this game were taking way, way, way too long to come in and get. Like it was, it was almost like falling asleep waiting for your stuff to come in. Uh, increase the entry and exit speeds for the delivery chopper. That's cool. Reduced how often high-end score streaks can be received in care packages. That's like a double-edged sword. It's like you didn't want that, but you wanted that, you know? Reduced the amount of roll on the smoke marker to ensure that the end position is a more accurate representation of where the care package will drop. Okay. What? <laughs> like, why is it just rolling around and stuff and not just marking where it's going to drop? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so there you go. That's the, the fixes to the, to the care package. Now, here is a whole host of score adjustments to unlock score streaks throughout the game. The dart reduced from 500 default to 450 and 350 with ComSec. The RC XD from 450 to 500 and 400 with ComSec. Lightning Strike reduced from 900 to 850 default and 600 with ComSec. Sentry reduced from 950 to 900, 700 with Comsec. Hellstorm increased from 850 to 950, default, 750 with Comsec. 
Sniper's nest reduced from 1100 to 1050 default, 850 with comsec device. Mantis increased to 1100 default and 900 with comsec. Thresher reduced from 1250 to 1200 default with a 950 on comsec. And the attack, top, attack chopper increased from 1200 to 1300 with a thousand comsec. Uh, reduced score given to, for all score streak kills from from 25 to plus 10. So they're pretty much annihilating streak uh, kills, uh, chain streaking without you actually killing stuff. But, you know, we notice we have not seen the reactor core here, but we're, without it being in the uh, Nuketown playlist, it might be a little bit harder to get that. So now we got some game mode changes. Hardcore resolved an issue where teammates' names were not displaying properly in Search and Destroy. Teammates that die to a friendly bombsite explosion will no longer count toward the team kill kick limit. That's good. Care package team kills will no longer count towards a team kill. That's good because people can't just go lay, lay under your care package. That's stupid. Reduce the score given for hard point secured to plus 50 for hard point. Resolved an issue that would prevent players from owning the hard point while using the lightning strike tablet. That's an interesting one. Uh, let's see, search and destroy. Silent plant setting in custom games should now make planting and defusing the bomb completely silent. CWL Custom Games addressed an issue where specialists and equipment would not update when players switched specialists. Yeah. Specialists. Seraph's attack to play will now only allow one respawn per use in free-for-all. Oh. That's pretty cool. I didn't know they could use, be used more than once. Atomic Drop. A challenge. The player's death by their own or death by their own reactor core will no longer track towards this challenge. Spotter kills in free-for-all will no longer track towards this challenge. Air cover resolved an issue where progress was not awarded in hardpoint or control. And miscellaneous manually destroying the attack deploy now gives score. Oh. Weapon balance. Burst rifles have been buffed. Or, well, tactical rifles have been buffed again. Which is weird because they're overpowered to begin with. Uh, but basically the Swordfist has reduced upward recoil to achieve a more accurate burst. And the ABR has reduced its slight upward recoil and has a 10 meter increase well but i think it's like a seven meter increase in range so a lot of that and then a ton of crash fixes in zombies <coughs> and uh you know a whole bunch of those type of things we know there's been a ton of problems with that um and the bowie knife is now randomized in uh different locations i guess for blackout but other than that a lot of this stuff is P PC specific, like the Spitfire reduced damage with 9mm range to a 9 meter range or something like that. Stuff like that. Stuff that I don't really care about. I will link the patch notes so that you can check them out in the, the video. But uh, what are you guys thinking about these changes that have come into the game? Uh, I kind of remember them doing something similar to this in Black Ops 2, where they were. Uh, the streak, some of the streaks were really easy to go straight to streak and I, I kind of feel like plus 10 is what that's uh, wasn't that what the swarm plus 10 plus 15 is like what the swarm would give you per kill something like that so I get where they're going with this um, it, it's really easy to get streaks in this game it's not hard by any means to get streaks in black ops 4 the fact is is that I don't even have to really get a kill I can just get an assist and get the full points of a kill and a kill towards my you know stat spread granted that we can look and see the direct action kills and you know what i mean like that's whatever but the point is is that this game's main functionality of score streaks and stuff like that really does allow for it to be easy and uh you know with any group of players that's decent you should be able to get you know everyone streaking out and uh, you know that's that was my take on it. I didn't. I woke up to this and had no idea that there was a massive patch. And you know what I mean. Like I didn't expect a lot of these changes. Um, I really wasn't expecting at all any type of change on the the streaks, like in terms of score adjustments like that, because I just thought like it, it was. It's just so easy that it really doesn't matter but I guess I guess you know if you think about it from a more solo or individual player kind of aspect if one player can dominate the map you know without his team helping him that easily then there, there might be a problem and 
adjusting the score necessary is probably going to be the best option that you have at that rate. So, yeah, I guess, you know what I mean? It makes sense that, that they've uh, adjusted the score. I, I do feel like it, they've had more than enough data about this for a while now. And they could have given us, uh, you know, changes a, a long time ago rather than letting people get used to the game. But that's their prerogative, you know, is to keep people playing as long as they can before changing anything. Obviously, the metric is just going to get better and more accurate as time goes on so they know what needs to be changed and when. But it still feels like, you know, when you're, when you're changing things like that during the live seasons, there is some... Uh, things that could be done better but that does it for me guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and as always have a good one